Hey there everybody, Nimpolk here. The direct is starting in one minute. Um, I'm live streaming this right now, but if it's up here on YouTube, I've decided to upload my reaction. Um, this is a Smash Direct, 40 minutes of goodness, and I have no idea what to expect. There were supposed to things like Grinch leaks, there's a guy named Vergepin trying to debunk the leak. We have no idea what to expect. All I really expect is the blurred out mode, which people are thinking will be a story mode, um, and a few characters. That's all I'm expecting. Two characters in the story mode. That's all I'm expecting. If we get more, like two unique characters, I think we'll maybe have one or two echoes as well. That's all I'm expecting. Keep, whenever you have this sort of thing, keep the hype low. Okay, it should be starting any minute now. Right? It's gonna pause. Come on. Should be starting. Let me pause and unpause. Should start any minute now. The home stretch. Come on, come on. I feel like it already started for other people. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Everyone's being shown. Okay, okay. He's not gonna start with the trailer, it looks like. Maybe he will. Hello. Sakurai, I fucking love you. From Sora Limited, and this is the final Nintendo Direct before the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Alrighty. So far, we've confirmed 72 fighters, 74 if you count Pokemon Trainer as three. Wow. Our entire team has worked really hard. 74. With this Nintendo Direct, we'll have revealed every fighter you can find in the game. Yes. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Alright. Incineroar? Incineroar? Leaks fake? Has to be Incineroar. Or a punch out character. No, it has to be Incineroar. Hopefully not Decidueye. Is it gonna be. Oh, it's Ken. Is he gonna be a unique character? Is he gonna be un. Alright, he's not unique, but. I don't know why they need his own trailer. I guess he's a little different. I don't know. I mean, he deserves the spot. I just hope he's not supposed to be super unique. Incineroar? Yeah, he's an Echo. They just wanted to announce two and one. It's gonna be Incineroar. It has to be. Who else would be in the fighting ring? That's right. yeah. Cineroar. I see the fire. The leak be fake. It's Incineroar. Not Decidueye, my boy. Hell yeah. So, you want to fight fire with fire, huh? <laughs> Nice back air, by the way. <laughs> there always has to be that new Pokemon, you know? But the leak be fake. Who knows what to expect now? Nice. And Sinner War looking hype. And Ken's an Echo. Good. Is there going to be someone else? <laughs> oh no, it's just showing that there's more fighters like that. Okay. Grinch leak be fake. 
is fake. Holy shit. Hailing from the Street Fighter series, Ryu's rival Ken joins as an Echo Fighter. Yep, Echo. Good. In his original game, Ken could be considered Ryu's Echo Fighter. Though perhaps you could say Luigi is the original Echo Fighter. But let's get back to Ken. Ken has been distinguished from Ryu over the years, but the Ken you'll see this time is based on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Good. Here's how he'll differ from Ryu. His heavy Shoryuken turns up the heat. The shape of his Hadouken is different too. Oh. <laughs> his Tatsumaki Senpukeku strikes opponents multiple times. Hell Wheel. Nice. Focus Attack. We've included lots of Ken's signature moves, such as his famous kicks, which change based on your command inputs. Okay, cool. He's a bit faster than Ryu, and we've also incorporated other tweaks from recent titles. We have no idea now what to expect now that we know the leak's real. Or fake, I mean. First, the spinning uppercut, Shin Ryuken. We've made it look flashy, as it is in the Versus series. Execute a final smash near an opponent, and you'll instead perform a Shifu Jin Raigeku. Nice. Two smashes just like Ryu. Two final smashes. Incineroar, let's see this now boy. For our last new challenger, Incineroar. Last new challenger? Okay, that's fine. But it mainly uses pro wrestling moves, and as such, its throws are a bit more powerful. It's like the last one? Wrestler, when one of its attacks is successful, it'll pose for the audience. Luckily, you can cancel out of these poses at any time, so they won't open you up to additional enemy attacks. Its neutral special is called Darkest Lariat. T pose! It's a signature move in the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games. Perhaps it's something of a red cyclone. Its up special is Cross Chop. You'll leap up and come rocketing back down. I feel like they have to have this one more. Can be very effective, but if you mess up, it's easy to self destruct, so be careful. Oh, nice. For its side special, Incineroar makes opponents run the ropes after a dashing grab. When they bounce back your way, press the button at just the right moment. If you're too early, you'll do a back body drop. Wait too long and you'll fail. Nail the timing and you'll I feel like Gino's gonna be the last one. He has to have one last fan service one to end it with. When damaged, Incineroar's burning passion comes to the surface, powering up Counter. its next attack. Oh no. It's Incineroar's idea of a counterattack. Oh cool. And its final smash, Max Malicious Moonsault. It's even faster and fiercer than the Z move it's based on. Wow. We finally revealed all of the fighters you'll find. Oh, okay. That's fine. Initial fighter select screen. There aren't very many at first, but it is the same amount as the original Nintendo 64 game. And once you've unlocked them all, it'll look like this. It may nice. seem hard to guess where each one's located, but they're sorted by number, in the order they joined the series. I hope you'll enjoy battling with all 74 fighters on the roster. Amiibo, of course. We're just gonna show all the new characters, or well, the characters that haven't had amiibo. I mean, let's see the snake amiibo. Interesting. Those are the ones that launch. You may recall that we're creating amiibo in parallel with the game. I'll have two number nines. Here's a look at the new amiibo figures. One snake getting one. Game we here, determined that collectible trophies wouldn't be a great fit for this game. Okay. Honestly, they were really difficult to develop too. That said, the Super Smash Brothers series is one massive crossover at heart, and we want to create something no more. trophies? A way to enjoy characters other than fighters from a variety of video game worlds. Here's what we came up with. They're called spirits. Ooh. Spirits be real? And I don't mean the spooky kind. Okay. To put it simply, these spirit characters will lend a helping hand to your fighters, powering them up in battle. 
In the Super Smash Brothers series, the characters are toys in the real world, but they are fighters in the world of the imagination. Returning to the real world is an ongoing theme. In the imagination, you can battle impossible combinations of characters. In this mysterious world, the unspeakable happens. Many beloved characters lose their physical forms. All of them, except the fighters, are turned into spirits, unable to return to the real world. This is a spirit. Fighters can join forces with spirits to enhance their powers. There's a massive amount of wildly different spirits. Huh. Rambi? Characters. There are several classes of spirits. Standard spirits are dubbed novices. Stronger ones have the title advanced. Especially strong ones are called aces. And some are in a league of their own. Legend. Wow. Primary spirits? One primary spirit can be assigned at a time. A primary spirit's power will be added to the fighter who has it equipped. Okay. In some cases, these you go, cool. fighters become extremely powerful. If a primary spirit has enough available slots, you can assign them support spirits. Cappy, cool. While primary spirits enhance fighter stats, support spirits lend them additional skills. Cappy Once is a spirit after spirit all. And support spirits are set. Your fighters all powered up. Spirit battles. The main way to acquire spirits. Cranky is Kong, to nice. Ravali, nice. Ravali's scale is now ready. You'll find a variety of spirits lined up on the spirit. Wind man. Choose the one you want to battle for. When you do, you'll Octolings. face off against the fighter whose abilities and personality are kinda sorta similar to the opposing spirit. Interesting. In the case of the Lakitu and Spiny spirit, you'll battle against Iggy Koopa in a group of small red Bowsers. Iggy's riding high in his Koopa Clown car, of course. Here are some examples of other battles you can expect. Oh, interesting. Guts man, giant Mega Man, okay. Okay. Imprisoned Vietnam flashbacks. Red all the flower blooming on your head, okay. That's not good. Is this juice? This is kind of like the event mode, isn't it? Hit the puppet fighter to acquire the spirit within. Hmm. Even if you accidentally hit the shield, Guardian. the damage will carry over, so you'll have an advantage the next time you encounter that spirit. Primary spirits have strength based on their type. Attack is strong against grab, grab is strong against shield, and shield is strong against attack. Hmm. It's important to pick a spirit that has an advantage over your opponent. 
When you encounter traps like poison floors and slumber floors, be sure to prep yourself with an appropriate support spirit. Battle King conditions Fluff. offer hints before battle, so make sure to read them and form the right strategy. Hmm. With spirits on your side, there are all kinds of things you can do. When you fight with a primary spirit equipped, it'll level up after battle. Or you can feed it snacks. Some spirits even have an form you can only unlock by leveling them up. You can also send spirits back to the real Rabid world. Peach. While you do have to say goodbye to that particular spirit, its core will stay. And by combining these cores, you can summon a new spirit. You can also train spirits at dojos and the gym. Robosa. Or send them off in search of treasure, which they'll bring back to you. These hmm. seem like unlikely teams of characters, but each team could be somebody's dream come true. Training and exploring continues to yield results, even while playing other modes or after turning off the game. So if you send out your spirits, just let them do their thing. Certain spirits are known as masters. You can beat them to unlock facilities. Spirits can also be used to power up amiibo figure players. You must bid them farewell, but you can repeat the process multiple times. Phantasma? It's one great big collection of characters from many different series. Oh wow. But just how many That's you Sigma. There are? Shadow Peach from Thousand Year Door? Thousand Year Door getting some life? Okay, final smash meter. Whenever you fight against the spirit, the final smash meter is enabled. Oh, nice. Some spirits even help you fill up your gauge at a faster rate. Whoa! That's a cool Yoshi final smash. Another way to put it, the spirit system lets you simulate battles between characters from more series than ever before. Wow, doing piantas, my you boy. Can enjoy many unbelievable combinations and Pandora. situations. The power of enemy and ally spirit teams is displayed here. Of course, stronger spirit teams make it easier to defeat Never weaker case. spirits. The more your power overshadows theirs, the less you'll be rewarded. It pays to have a fair fight. Nice. While assembling a team, press the Y button for a recommendation that has a type advantage against the opposing spirit team. The game will recommend support spirits who can help out with certain conditions. Keep that in mind. You can also fight against other players who are using spirits. Given the way spirit types interact in battle, think carefully when building your team. Or balance your strengths in a two-on-two -two battle. Okay, this is what we didn't want to see. You battle together with friends via local wireless, or take the fight to the world with online play. To connect two Nintendo Switch consoles, press the DR button to pull up the dashboard and select local wireless. There's no longer a need to separate the online modes into for fun and for glory. Instead, matchmaking is based on three factors. For online battles, you can set your preferred rules. These rules can be pre-registered so you can quickly select your favorite playstyle. Before hmm. battle, one player's preferred rules will be chosen at random. Good. All players will fight using those rules. You can also choose not to set any preferred rules and let the others decide instead. So now we can do For Glory with if Battlefield. Possible, the matchmaking system will find players with similar preferences and link them up for a battle. Global Smash Power is being factored into matchmaking, but it's still used as an online leaderboard as well. A high GSP score, such as 100,000, means you've got more points than 99,999 other players. Hmm. Your GSP will change as the total population of players increases or you're overtaken. If you're yearning for a challenge, 
try increasing your global smash power so that you'll naturally end up with some more serious opponents. It's ranked. By the way, you can set a GSP score for each fighter. Fighters you haven't used yet will be assigned a placeholder GSP based on the highest score you've set with one of the other fighters. If you cool. repeatedly self-destruct on purpose, you could face a penalty, like being disconnected, so please don't do that. As with any multiplayer game, a stable connection is very important. For this reason, the matchmaking system will prioritize shorter distances between players. So even if you set your preferred rules, please understand that we can't promise you'll always be matched accordingly. As such, we'd appreciate it if you could make your connection as stable as possible. A wired LAN cable is recommended. Mm -hmm. We've prepared a variety of other features for local wireless and online battles. Elite battles, okay. Once your global smash power is high enough, you can enter elite battles. When you reach this level, feel free to pat yourself on the back. You're good, period. <laughs> After the game releases, we may adjust the game balance, and the team will definitely pay attention to the results of these elite battles. So it's for the people that are actually good, ranked. Everyone who plays online needs their own smash tag. If you beat a fellow player, you'll receive their smash tag. But it's not like you'll lose your smash tag even if you lose a battle. You simply gain more tags as you win. Try to collect lots of smash tags. Oh, cool. You can select short messages and send them before and after battles using the directional buttons. Freely choose from a wide selection of varied preset messages. Yeah, they don't want people After insulting. You've chosen a fighter, you can enjoy other modes while you wait for the battle to begin. Not every mode will be available while matchmaking runs in the background, but you can leave and enter some game modes. Okay. Spectator mode. Spectator mode returns once again, so you can watch other players' battles. Maybe you can pick up some good tips that way. Form a two-player team and play together online with a single Nintendo Switch system. You'll be paired up against two-player teams with the same setup. Ranked is what I truly wanted, so I think that's good. When you want to play online, you can create a special type of room to fight other players. If you set the rules for one of these battle arenas, you can fight against your friends. Like arms. Here, there are spots where you can Reggie, join battle, my boy. wait in line, or even spectate. It all depends where you place your token. Oh, that's cool. When you're in a battle arena, this should come in handy. <laughs> Smartphone. With the Nintendo Switch Online app, you can voice chat with others in battle arenas. It may become an essential tool for some players. We are also developing a free service for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we're naming it Smash World. Smash World? Instead of focusing on stats like win-loss records, we're allowing players to post gameplay videos, watch them, and more. Once the service starts, we'll offer regular updates so you can post to your heart's content. Hmm. Next, I'd like to change topics and talk Broken dreams. About Time for broken dreams, everyone. Do you know which characters come from which games? Like Shadow, by the way. Is Isaac gonna be a cis trophy? Yuri. Is that Fatal Frame? Yeah. This trophy. Yep, broken dreams. Here I go. More broken dreams. Watch them show like Gino or Banjo as a this is trophy get people pissed. <laughs> Swamp. Oh. <laughs> It's pretty great. Spring man, more broken dreams. 
I kind of wanted Springman though, so that's sad. Wily Capsule, cool. That's not really a broken dream. I don't think anyone expected him as a playable character, even though he's a villain. Flies in hand. Mario Paint, let's go. Taking the real shit. Nice. Wow, that's strong. Vince. Sham wow. Ooh, that's. Ooh. Guile. Important part is we have his theme. That's the important part. Flash kick. And he's got good hair. Aquila from, uh, what's it called? Uh, Virtua Fighter? Or something like that? Yeah. Okay. Japanese. Get those Japanese words off of me. The total number of assist trophies is now 59. Actually, they outnumber the Pokemon this time. Wow. Assist trophies who can be KO'd can also be defeated by the fighter who summoned them just before they're KO'd. That way, you won't lose a point to the other player. Now, I'd like to cover a variety of other features in the game. Okay. How far are we in? If you want to review the controls or game modes, press the ZR button 25 to minutes the in. dashboard and look in here. There are all kinds of helpful guides to check out. Century Smash? Century Smash may look familiar to veterans. It feels great to keep smashing Oh, that's a cool stages, name for it. it. You can play on many different stages, and you can choose the music too. In previous games, you had to unlock every fighter before playing All Star mode, but now you can play it right out of the box. The currently available fighters will appear endlessly. You can save the replay data of your battles. And now, you can create videos with it. Oh, nice. There's also a menu where you can read those quick tips and tricks you see during loading screens. When viewing them, you can sort by category or fighter. Hmm, interesting. Complete challenges to earn rewards. This time, each page is sorted by category, and the layout looks more like a comic book. Press the button mm, cool. to check out each picture. Enjoy! The records menu tracks your battle history. There are five different options. You can view battle data separately for offline and online play. That's good. Trade in smash tags to score some in-game gold. Gold can be exchanged for music tracks, spirits, and items for spirits mode. People are going to have a smash tag be like, I beat zero. Find the ones you want, instead of just relying on challenges. Options. You can enter the options menu by pressing the ZR button to open the dashboard. This one game supports 11 languages. I know this is very important to some of you. Yeah. For example, the voices of Pokemon are different in several languages. The fighter names are also specific to each language. Cool. These options were and well worth the effort. Murabito. Brightness and TV sound. Mode and handheld mode have separate settings for brightness and sound. Okay. They'll change automatically when you dock and undock, so be sure to set both. Smash. We've implemented a radar that displays the locations of all fighters. You can change its settings, including size. While it's limited to wireless and online play, 
You can make your teammates semi-transparent so you don't get distracted. Custom balance. If you're fighting against a friend on the same system, you can adjust the strength of your fighters. That makes sense Sometimes if someone's better. It's just too good and you want to take measures to ensure it's a fair fight. If that's the case, try using this feature. Good. When custom balance is That's good for the people that I'll body. Make it more course, fair. This feature is not available during wireless and online battles. Makes sense. You can customize your Mii fighters and change their outfits. In addition to the voice options, there are a variety of outfits to choose from. This is going to be more Broken Dreams via outfits. Speaking of Mii fighters, let me introduce you to some new outfits we added in. More Broken Dreams? Gino outfit? Giga Clan? That's cool. I feel like that one is a necessary one for Mii fighters. Splatoon 2, nice. That's important too. Some of these are really good choices. Ribbon Girl set. I guess that breaks the hope of DLC though. Chibi Robo, cool. I wanted him as a character, but you can only hope for so much. I think a lot of people wanted this character too. Ray MK3. <laughs> yes! Labo! That's great. Anyway, there's something I should point out. As I said, we've revealed all of the fighters you can find in the game. Uh, oh, DLC. Development confirmed for DLC, alright. But there are even more coming post-launch. Gino? While we've already implemented a huge roster of fighters, this is the Super Smash Bros. series. Which means we're leaving the opportunity open yes. to add in more fighters as paid DLC. Is there going to be another ballad? Or? Since we already included every fighter from the past games, that means there are no more fighters to include unless we develop new fighters from scratch. Yes. And we're not talking about Echo fighters. Okay. We'll be developing and selling sets that will include one fighter, one stage, and multiple music tracks. Okay. The price for each set is expected to be $5.99. Okay, that's fine. At the same time, we will fighter pass. Fighter Hell yeah. That's five fighters, five stages, and all of their music tracks. February 2020. When creating something like the fighters pass, ideally we should reveal what's included before it becomes available for purchase. However, please allow us to offer this pass before we're ready to reveal its contents. I hope only those who are confident in its value will purchase it. I'm purchasing it regardless. The price is $24.99 for all five sets. Okay. Now that we finally confirmed the development of this DLC, please know that we'll be working really hard on it. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if I'll ever get to take a break. Please do. By the way, here's one purchase bonus you'll get with the Fighter's Pass. It's a me sword fight. Broken dreams. We decided which fighters to include when we started planning, so we couldn't add characters from titles like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which was announced after planning had started. I hope this outfit will help you feel like you're playing as Rex. We're also including some music from the Xenoblade Chronicles series. Give it a listen at Gaur Plane sometime. Other Xenoblade Chronicles characters will also appear as spirits. Pyra, more broken dreams. We've yet to create any of the paid DLC, and we haven't locked down any release dates. But we'll start working on them as soon as we're finished with the main game. One more character from DLC. It may take around a year or so to finish releasing all the DLC. But on a separate note, limited time offer. We're currently developing something, something you'll get for free as a limited time offer if you buy the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate game now. It isn't finished yet, but I want to give you a special sneak peek. Is it a first DLC character? Is it gonna be Gino? It's gonna be Gino, ain't it? This has to be Gino. It has to be. Gino? 
you know. Oh. Wait. Is that a fucking fighter? <laughs> Piranha plant's a fucking fighter? Are you serious? Just Piranha Plant? <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I don't think anyone would expect this. What? Best final smash. Fuck yeah. That's genius. That's right. Piranha Plant will take root in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That's and not interesting. As an trophy, but as an actual fighter. That's weird. It can spit poison, fire off spiky balls, and perform long-range attacks. This tricky character is full of surprises. Wow. No one expected this character. <laughs> if you get caught in the cage, well, let's just say it won't end well for you. Piranha Plant is scheduled for completion after the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So there's six the new head start on it, but it probably won't be ready until a couple of months after launch. That's Please fine. Stay tuned. Remember, Piranha Plan is a free, limited time offer. For the physical version of the game, you only need to go through the My Nintendo Gold Point oh, good. process to receive it. I hope you'll consider pre-ordering. Pre-purchase? I'm gonna do that anyways. An amiibo. Cool. It has a nice curved form to it. Later today, you'll be able to pre-purchase the game after finishing yes. this Nintendo Direct. I hope you'll go to Nintendo eShop or Nintendo.com before you forget. Before we go, Gino. I have an announcement for everyone watching this in North America. <gasps> Test fire? On our official site, oh. you can find information for a variety of upcoming hands-on events. Participants will have a chance to try out all 74 fighters. So what? Check out the website to find out where we'll show up next and more. It's gonna be like three areas probably. That's it for the last Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before the game launches. But before we go... Oh? What happened on the fateful day? I should mention that the adventure mode in this game is nothing like what we came up with for the subspace emissary. What? That said, what exactly caused all these characters to lose their bodies and transform into spirits? That's a good point. I'll show you how it all begins and leave the rest to your imagination. Okay then, please look forward to the game's release. Wait, so we're we getting an actual adventure mode? Don't let a single one get away! Okay. Is that taboo? Is it fucking taboo? We'll each need to take down about ten. Stow your fears. It's now or never. We'll win this. I know we will. <laughs> Has to be taboo. Kill Bayonetta, please. <laughs> Is this how we're all not characters? Snake, no. It's gonna be just the original roster left, isn't it? No. Who is gonna start it?
Not Kirby! Whoa. Is this a new subspace? Kirby, the only one alive. Lyrics. This music. <laughs> Kirby's the only one alive. Kirby, you're our hero. Please put this music on the site. Oh my god. So there is the story mode. Holy shit. There's fucking lyrics! Holy shit. Holy shit. Is there gonna be boss fights? Holy shit. Shantae, Broken Dreams. Twintel, okay. Waifu. So that's Rathalos that we're going to be fighting. This is going to be like Subspace Emissary except a little bit like challenge mode. Holy shit. World of Light. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. They did it. They did it. Treehouse time. I'm gonna check on my boy Alec. Get in this! Holy what fuck! Oh my freaking gosh! What the heck? Uh, Everyone's dead! Oh it, my it, freaking! You know, that's the plot twist. Everyone that's is the dead. Plot twist. What? Dude, oh everyone isn't freaking... just here. They're dead. They're just They're dead. dead. Thanos literally snapped his fingers. Everyone's dead, except for Kirby. Oh my! And DLC. Uh, wait a minute. No, no, no. No, uh, no, uh, forget the headphones. Oh my freaking! That, did you listen to the soundtrack? Yeah, dude, the lyrics. Oh my, I know it's so OP. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready. I'm also, ready who expected Piranha Plant? Like the fuck? Yeah, I know. That was crazy. I was like, wait, what the heck? Piranha I was like, is this gonna be Gino? No, it's oh Piranha Plant. Thanks. The way Sakurai <laughs> just brings that adventure mode out of the random blue, like he's like, oh hey. Before we go, let's also talk about adventure mode. Or in fact, let me just show you it. Oh, and a oh, bunch of master nice. hands. Right. All in and the I think that might be taboo. Uh, pulling stuff out of it. Um, so oh. I think one of my favorite things oh my is gosh. Sort of learning about these... Uh, Doing an unboxing sweet. right now? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was worried when they only said the new two <laughs> fighters. I uh, just know that they're really pretty. Yeah. They're, That's what yeah. I thought, too. I was like, okay, nice. so <laughs> we're going to get Ken. Yeah, nice little, Ken's yeah. just eh. And then we get uh, the, oh, yeah. uh... Incineroar. Uh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Incineroar. Right there. And I was like, okay, uh, they're okay. Oh, I guess the leak here. was wrong then, I sort of. The but, like... Okay, <laughs> and then we see uh, okay, the piranha plant. I was like, oh my freaking gosh. What? He looks cool. Like, who expected uh, so yeah, piranha plant ever? And his final smash is PD Piranha. No one did. No one ever did. And he's free with the other DLC. Yeah, yeah, I pre ordered the game too, so I'm I'm gonna get the pre purchase right now on the Australian eShop. No, I pre ordered the special edition. <laughs> All I can tell you is this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And, um, if you put in I am getting the game. Start, like, I'm getting the Australian I'm version. I'm, 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 the, the, the day I get this game, I'm live streaming. I'm, I'm live streaming my unboxing. I'm live streaming the gameplay. I'm live streaming the story mode. 
the actual oh my game. gosh and you'll also get uh, if you I need to put more Australian money on so I can get the kind of awesome you get the DLC yeah. I'm getting that fighter DLC right off the oh, bat. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get the get. I'm gonna get the full on Smash Pass, which gives you like all of the five characters. And I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that Piranha Plant is not included within the five characters that's gonna come out for the game. That's what I'm assuming too. Yeah. 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 But, oh my! Fr I'm so glad I got this on stream. Yeah. Yeah, and I kind of screwed up some because I actually had two tabs of the live stream playing at the same time, so I heard like a double loop of sound, but I thought that was coming. I thought that was like a problem yeah, from the stream itself, that, but no, like, it was because I have two tabs open, so. Oh, yeah, as soon like, as it I can, can, so it's not up yet. Yes, that's what it is, so. cool. yeah. Oh my freaking gosh. It's not up on the eShop yet. I know. I know. Because I'm getting the Australian version to play this shit 15 hours early. I, oh yeah, you know. I know you are. I know you are. Yeah, I mean, I know people want a physical copy, but... Holy shit, like I was I was a little bit like, okay, ranked mode is cool. Then they fucking he was like, Oh yeah, by the way, story mode. Yeah, the random blue that was a crazy Oh shit, they're gonna show the new fighters. Oh yeah, they are wow. I'm just glad Ken isn't his original character because I feel like that'd be kind of a waste. I mean look at this this roster screen. Oh wait a minute, is he an echo fighter? Because I couldn't tell, like all these characters. Is he like an actual echo fighter? Yeah, he's they said he's an echo fighter. Oh, <laughs> there's so many of them. Which I know it's good to have more unique fighters, but I, and he also said the new characters are gonna be new, not echoes. Yeah, yeah. So, so it means by the end, if Piranha Plant oh. is the extra, we'll have 80 characters. Oh, and by the way, by the way, Sakurai confirmed this about Xenoblade Chronicles 2. He wanted Rex to be in the game, but the problem was they started production on Smash. Uh, basically before Xenoblade Chronicles 2 came out, so that was the problem. Uh, he yeah. He wanted him to be in the game. Just to grab people. Every yeah. single grab also, I really weapon. like what they did with online. On yeah. No, all I, dude, the uh, esports scene he, uh, is going to go insane. Yeah. The esports yeah, scene yeah, is about to go. Also, Incineroar oh, looks pretty fun. I mean, I don't know if I'll main him, but he looks fun. I'm glad there's a new Pokemon character. He looks great. But like, oh gosh, who the fuck expected Piranha Plan? I'm on a high right now. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm on Holy a shit. high. No, I saw Piranha Plant. I'm like, okay, you're just gonna add an assist trophy? Is someone gonna come out of the Piranha Plant like Gino? And they're like, no, he's a fighter. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh my god. for Smash. No one fucking expected. No one ever expected Piranha Plant as a fighter. <laughs> ever. Crazy thing, like oh, who saw yeah, that coming? PD Piranha, maybe there might have been people who have hoped he was in, which he is technically, but no one expected a normal Piranha plan to just make it in. That's what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, that's what I'm saying. I and he know, like, and he uses a meteor smash with his pot. Oh my, no, I'm uploading my reaction. Oh my gosh. Yeah, me too. Like at first I was like, okay, cool, Ken and Incineroar, and then and then they started showing online. I'm like, that's really good. And when they showed spirits, at first I was disappointed because I thought it was just like, oh, here's well, no, no, these no, no, like no, no. event well, match. Spirits, I'll say this. I think it's kind of cool. They got rid of the, uh, 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 what's it called, trophies? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I thought it was cool, but I thought it was just going to be like... Uh, oh, so his up B is that one move that's easy to self-destruct with. Yeah, it's like... Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. That'll work out. fine. 